Hey everybody, welcome to AJS News. This is video two of two for today. But first, a word from our sponsor. Whoa, the new Manscaped gift boxes came in. Look at this. Oh, I can't wait to try out this new beard trimmer. Oh man, my beard has been so itchy over the past few days. 7200 RPM motor, titanium coated blades. This lifts up all of the pesky hairs down there on the neck. This thing is amazing. Oh my God, look at this, dude. They've got beard shampoo, beard oil, beard balm, beard conditioner. Oh, oh, and it smells so good. Dude, Manscaped is so spoiling us. This is awesome! It's amazing stuff. Oh. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> the Manscaped Beard Hedger Pro Kit is the perfect gift for any man in your life. Why? <laughs> I can get a beard too! Well, almost any man in your life. Get 20% off plus free shipping and two free gifts at Manscaped with promo code ANGRYJOSHOW at manscaped.com. Guys, grab yourself a kit, this new Beard Hedger Pro. It is fucking awesome, and I've been using it. And, you know, I, I used something before that didn't have, like, all the settings. This has half settings. Now, I haven't used it today, but uh, previously I'd used it, but, you know, it was fucking, you know, I was like, holy shit, it makes my beard look so fucking good. I just woke up right now, so I just <laughs> ran upstairs. Otherwise, I would have used it, but I looked really nice because of this half setting in between that cool. my other one wish doesn't. You wish you can use it, Joe? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, this has got eight, seven point five, seven. 6.5 my other one didn't have that precise measurement so guys i love it click the link down below and uh grab yourself one if you've got some facial hair mm -hmm. and if you don't like your joe then there's plenty of plenty other products of up there uh for you guys uh ajs news is uh dead space angry review will be out later tonight or tomorrow at the latest um, and we are already working on Hogwarts Legacy. I cannot wait uh, to do an angry review for that. Sorry, obviously, you know, January and the beginning of February, real rough, uh, but we're catching up, and uh, so we'll have those uh, to you as soon as we can, and men many more. So, Alex, what has been happening in gaming news part two? Well, this is more a uh, public service announcement. If you've never played Baldur's Gate 1, shame on you. Uh, but now is the opportunity to make up for it and for free. If you are a Prime subscriber, you can get Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition completely free from March 2nd through the end of the month. Uh, amazing. It's all you have amazing. to do is be an Amazon And most of you uh, probably, Prime, probably, Prime, probably Prime. are. A lot yeah. of them are. I take advantage of Prime all the time with the free shipping stuff. Yeah. And so, amazing movies. Yeah. Yeah. So check that out. <laughs> Um, uh, we also got new stuff real recently, something that I know you'll be really happy with. Cyanide has apologized for Blood Bowl 3. Um, what? Yeah, you made a video. They, uh, I did. I made an angry <laughs> rant. Check it out. And that rant is like literally just on the microtransactions, a little bit on some of the gameplay. But I didn't even go into all the other issues, Joe, like actual gameplay issues and fucking UI issues and interface. It is just... A fucking disaster. Well, they apologize for some of that. Um, they apologize for the server issues. Um, server issues? Yeah. No. It was the biggest that, thing. That, that that's the were... least. Oh. <laughs> then uh. it's the, well, obviously, it's one of them. But they're like, oh, yes, we apologize for how um, there's something lag else, in the world. There's something yeah. else. Sometimes <laughs> games can have lag. Uh, nobody. Well, mm. they, they, they also said this. We, we know that we, pro we will probably not be able to convince all of you but we truly believe that our system is fair rewarding and optional and that's understandable Did you feel there's, like a it was fair? Uh, there's a sense of pride and accomplishment when, when you, you purchase you money. the uh one fucking armor piece of six for all 16 of your roster players for one of your teams, and then there's 12 teams, and there's going to be more teams coming, and you have to buy more pieces. No, absolutely not. Something need. This is a shit apology, and this needs to be like, oh, my God, all hands on deck. Uh, 
uh, we're, we're uh, going to optimize the game. We're going to fix the game. And you know what? You write about microtransactions here. Here's an in-game currency that you earn just from playing it so that you can unlock these pieces faster. Mm -hmm. And by the way, here's a much wider variety of cool-looking pieces because all your pieces are shit. It's all fucking shit. And I actually got a fucking refund. I played mm -hmm. 116 minutes. So I had four minutes left. Yeah. <laughs> and by the end, I was like, after my anger in, I was like, oh, shit. Yeah, you just tell, <laughs> Steam. It close. Yeah, tell Steam. It's like, just look at the store. And they're like, be And I felt so good. And I, honestly, I did that refund. Normally, I wouldn't refund. Normally, I'd, I'd keep going. But I read one or two reviews. There's excellent, excellent reviews. Yeah. Just upset-ass people that go point by point. And I wish I did it in my angry rant, but they got to be short. And I was just focusing on one thing. And I was like, you know what? Fuck this! I cannot support this, and so I uh, so I refund. I was very much. I wanted to do a whole league for us. I own every single Blood Bowl team except for one. So I have twenty three out of the twenty. I always forget the number of teams, but Blood Bowl is a passion of mine, and this release is worse than the last game. When you when you come out with your sequel, and it is somehow you you somehow fuck it up worse than the f Blood Bowl one and Blood Bowl two. You deserve this this blowback, and it's going to take them a while. I don't know where all the talent went there because you, you had two ig perfect examples of what to do. The suits? And I, no, maybe a bunch of people moved on, and then the new people came in, and then maybe they didn't give them enough money, and then they've... They, they couldn't get organized in time. There's a disaster behind the scenes. And then they even had extra. That's the thing that pisses me off more. They, they pushed it and pushed it. And it comes out and it feels even more early access than early access. So I was like, oh, my God. Well, GW normally butt fucks its customers' wallets. So why can't we? This is, this is the old GW video games where they used to give their license out to whoever and wherever in the games. Could be amazing, like your Total War Warhammer, or they could be absolute dog shit. And unfortunately, this came out absolute dog shit. And the monetization of it felt dirty, the lack of features, and pu pu putting actual basic fucking features like reconnecting to your game after you're disconnected on the roadmap for season two. You know, like a fucking six months it's from now, it's like, what? Like season two after this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know what they call him. There. Yeah. It's, it, it, it was unfortunately a disaster. Watch my angry rants to see how bad it is. And read the reviews on Steam. They are mostly negative. Yeah. And when that happens, there's definitely something going on. Yeah, it's 28% 20, positive right now. And they, again, they, they said they apologize for the server issues. 27 on yeah. Metacritic, basically. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, for the server issues leading up to and during launch. So that's what they apologize for. They don't care about any of the other stuff because they want to emphasize it's just cosmetic. Now, this is probably, this is what happens when people are like, no, no, your worries about cosmetic only is a slippery slope. No one's going to pare down their games and then sell you all the cool stuff later. And this is exactly what that is. Yeah. This is a game company that purposely yeah. made everything look like dog shit so they could sell you a $700 custom. That's, yeah. what, that's roughly well, what it is, they're, right? They're justification. Yeah, $700 if you want to customize yeah. your people fully. But here's the thing. They'll say, well, no, Joe, it's $30 and you're getting 12 teams while previous games had eight teams or something smaller than that. It's like, yeah, but those games worked at release. Those games had fully functional yeah. uh you know abilities and 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 uis that i could fucking see and fucking uh special abilities that function on like shadowing from fucking uh dark elf assassins i can go on and on about all the different things that i ran into in the game that's just janked and and not working and poorly implemented and it's like who are you guys and honestly it feels like a completely new development uh studio that did this one but you look at it it's like no this is the same people that did the previous one so uh <laughs> the you know while you may say we think the price is fair it's like yeah because even they knew they couldn't get away with the 60 dollar price tag mm -hmm. so they just cut it to 30 and for your 30, you're getting an early access game that you're going to help develop over the next fucking year or two. Because it's a live service. Mm -hmm. And we all know how those go. Yeah. Plus, you get 1,000 warp stone. Joe, ain't that generous? Nope. Blow it out your ass.
Uh, Nintendo has officially announced this week that they will not be going to E3. We kind of knew that. We've been talking about it for a while. But they, they added that this event does not quite fit into their plans, mainly because E3 has been on the, you know, it's kind of been dying for the last couple of years, especially with the pandemic and other things. And most of the big one, uh, big uh, video game manufacturers aren't showing up. I mean, the biggest one to note is Ubisoft, and they're like one more bad release away from being Tencent France. Mm. So um, this is just <laughs> another another bad thing if you're E3, because Nintendo has has a really really big draw. Um, this new this story actually really pissed me off. Uh, in the Warner Brothers uh, call, we talk a lot about Warner Brothers. Uh, they were talking about how their last year sucked, and they're like, "Man, we really shit the bed last year." Gotham Knights didn't do very well. A bunch of our other games did, but they were trying to set everyone up. Said we just not currently on the books is the eight hundred fifty million dollars that Harry Potter just made. We've got all these other things coming out, and this year you're getting Mortal Kombat twelve. And there was no in fan an earnings call. In an like earnings the call. suits, they're like, oh yeah, and then uh, uh, quarter five, seven, uh, Mortal Kombat, uh, Mortal Kombat's misspelled. We'll have to talk to somebody yeah, on that so one. Uh, Mortal Kombat twelve. What? Yeah, no fan. That's the fucking announcement. Oh, man, I'd be pissed if I was Ed. Yeah. So Ed Boone actually got to to Twitter pretty much immediately when he found out that everything had been spoiled, and he <laughs> tweeted. So who who heard the news about Injustice three? Joking that because you know normally the injustices were between the Mortal Kombat's. So I can't imagine he's very happy because as a fan of the franchise, I would be <laughs> fucking pissed that this is how it was announced. I wanted. Wait, to... I don't like that joke because that means they're not working on Injustice no. three. God <laughs> darn it! I want Injustice three too, and I want both. Did you just spoil the actual development of Injustice three? No, because they're not working on it. Injustice three confirmed. Uh, yeah. No, but I'm. I will take Mortal Kombat twelve. I'll take it way over Injustice. So I am super fucking happy. I'm super fucking hyped. But it doesn't feel like it because that's the worst way to announce it. So yeah, honestly, whatever exactly soon. whatever they were planning to do, they're like, fuck, man. We we're, we're building on these assets and we're building, uh, you know, this thing marketing for it. But we're not doing it for another three months. This fucking asshole just told us, like, we can't do anything about it. So that sucks. Yeah. But it's super awesome news because Mortal Kombat is uh, amazing. We're, we're getting, oh, man, fighting is a fucking Tekken, amazing. Tekken yeah. 8, Street Fighter 6, yeah. and then Mortal and Kombat Mortal 12. Kombat. Like, so that's insane. I'm, I'm so fucking happy. And NetherRealm does the story modes right, and I'm, I'm excited for it. And even if they just follow the same formula that they've been doing, I'm excited. But I do wish that they would put get a little more wacky with you know those introductions. Because remember, Ed put in fucking Mortal Kombat chess and more fucking RPG <laughs> and fucking go-karts and shit. I want them to get a little crazier with that <laughs> but i know they've been going a little more serious with their stories and stuff but we'll see mm -hmm. uh we got really big news this uh week out of activision blizzard uh so we thought for a long time that we were going to skip a year in call of duties and so 2024 2023 yeah. was not gonna have a call of duty good we were gonna, more time for development well none of that shit that's not happening anymore so what? uh, what's happening is we are getting a call of duty so they they report claims this year that uh, it was there was an expansion that was going to come out for 2022 Modern Warfare 2, which is Modern Warfare 2 Part 2, and uh, Sledgehammer was working on that. And now there's so much stuff in it, so they say, that they're going to charge you full price for it now. Oh. So they're turning an expansion to a full price game, but they promise there's plenty mm. of stuff in there. Modern um, Warfare 2 it. Part 2. Yeah, yeah but it's not called Modern Warfare know, 3, so it's it is Modern going to be Modern, Modern Warfare, Warfare 2 Part 2, part number two. 2, because number it's two. the second Modern Warfare 2. two. Uh, the second. Of the, like a rematch. I right. just don't yeah. fuck it. I don't Modern fuck Warfare it. 2. Two, part yeah. two, the second. Yeah. Modern Warfare Two, part two, the second. Let's not the, forget it when it comes the, out. The second, two, yeah. two, 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 two. <coughs> uh, so they're not getting an Full extra year. Full sixty, seventy dollars probably at this point. Seventy dollars. Nope. So yeah. much content. Damn it. We'll uh, yeah. We'll so see about that. according to Bloomberg, it was began as an expansion. Somebody got a fucking raise, and somebody got promoted when he's like, "Hey, why don't we do this? Sell it at full yes. price." Uh, the plan currently is for the new title to carry over multiplayer maps and modes from the 20, 2022 release, which means you're not getting full multiplayer stuff. So, again, this does feel like an expansion. Uh, and then they said that that may change uh, before launch. This one is going to be developed by Sledgehammer Games. Previously, only Infinity Ward had developed Modern Warfare games. Modern. So we'll see how so they it's do a, it. So it's an outcast. It's a little bit of an outlier. Weird. Because that, um, that's usually integral to those series. Like you, you're used to Modern Warfare being Infinity Ward. Yeah. And you're used to the other ones kind of feeling slightly different. It's mm -hmm. going to be interesting to see, you know, the Modern Warfare 
not handled by Infinity Ward. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, Activision has those like fuck up kids where it's like Infinity Ward is the favorite because it makes them all the money, and then it's like you made Vanguard, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> you're not, even, uh, you're not my son. And then so they're trying. All these other ones are trying to be more like Infinity Ward because that one makes se- like the dirty yeah. money. So uh, maybe Sledgehammer can just pretend, and then it'll work out for them. Um, there was a story this week that uh, dark and darker developers are being accused of uh, stealing game code Boo, and uh, concepts. That's not true. I love that yeah. game. <laughs> so there was a canceled even out. <laughs> Nexon project, and there's some screenshots and some stuff, and there's some former Nexon employees that went to work for Iron Mace, the, the studio of Dark and Darker. And Dark and Dar- the, the Iron Mace has said, like, look, all of our code is 100% unique to us. Wow. We made it. Anything that we didn't make, we purchased directly from the Unreal store. All of our stuff is our stuff. And yes, there was employees that did work for Nexon that moved over, and there's like similar-ish game concepts. But Nexon also didn't invent the, the extraction survival low fantasy game mm-hmm. with wizards and swords. It's like it, it becomes you know kind of difficult. This mm-hmm. feels more like some mm-hmm. some someone used to work for a first person shooter company. Yeah. They went to a different one. It's like you stole let's from see. us. Like, yeah, let's see the like, evidence. If hit. you're gonna be accusing somebody <coughs> of serious shit like that, you gotta bring the fucking receipts. Otherwise, it sounds like, man, this Dark and Darker is getting a lot Pretty of popular, attention. Yeah. This is, wow, yeah. it's an indie game, but everybody wants to play. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, they, they, yeah, they, my code. My code is stolen. They, they stole my code. You stole my stuff. Didn't yeah. he use work for us? That, I think so. Check yeah, the dun- a, dun- a dungeon with it's uh, like an extraction. That was my idea. That that was mine. Yeah. I, I, I had the idea yeah. first. I wrote it in a post-it. I, <laughs> did, and I didn't make it. Yet, but I was planning to, and so I'm going to sue you because now I can't anymore. Yeah, because you you're going to have all the <laughs> money, and they're and they're not going to have any. Uh, uh, let's see the proof, though. Yeah, if, if, according uh, to uh, the 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 CEO, most of our assets are purchased from the Unreal Marketplace. All other assets and all game designs were created in house, and this has already been audited by an outside agency. I mean, they're planning on having a right. massive release. Good, fuck so yeah! If this is uh, if this is true, and the last thing he says is important, as far as we know, you cannot copyright a game genre, yes. especially if you didn't fuck, invent it. Fuck that, fucking yeah. yeah. Good, so. I like that. See, is like, uh, no. Here's the receipts, bitch. I got receipts for the things I bought. Yeah. Don't you dare try to take this from us. Yeah. We're working hard, and we like that game, so. Mm-hmm. Can't can't wait to play more of it. Yes. And then lastly, we'll we'll do, we'll do a full video. But there was the PlayStation State of Play this week. Not a whole lot uh, was was shown off. We got some. There was the lots of Rocksteady shares extended look at Suicide Squad, which was a terrible idea mm. because the second they showed it off, it sucked all the air out of the room, and everyone's like, "Oh no!" They're like, "Oh, that's what it is." Yeah. Everyone's getting worried now. I mean, the cuts. I will say the cutscenes look amazing, right? Like the animations and the the, the characters. But that that I don't really care. I mean. Cool, yeah. But if it's a, it's a game. service in the game, <laughs> yeah. the, the the thing that the we're gonna play, there, we the thing problem. we're gonna play, not watch, <laughs> yeah. is bad. Then yeah, yeah. Capcom also had some big reveals. We got three new Street Fighter Six characters. Um, and you saw all that, and then there's also yeah, yeah. I, I, it's uh, fucking Zangief. The internet went crazy over Cammy. Yep. She's stretching. There's a new fighter called Lily, Lily. Uh, and she's from the same uh, tribe that uh, T Hawk produced. Uh, but she's got some weapons that she brings with her. It looks really, really cool. Some tomahawk busters and things. So um, and some clubs. Uh, things are looking good for Street Fighter Six. Can't wait. Mm-hmm. Baldur's Gate. That's June. Three also got uh, an official launch date for PlayStation uh, August thirty first. So Another reminder that you can pick up Baldur's Gate one for, for free. Free uh, if on you have Amazon. Prime, Prime, and if you paid for Baldur's Gate three two fucking years ago, like I did, uh, you'll be you're kind you're, of annoyed at this point. You're of, fucking angry. You'll Let's finally get this get shit play. done. Um, this year, two years is not an early access. It's that's a, uh, honestly, Alex. That's what most fucking early access companies are doing these days, and that's why I hate early access. And that's why I think the Blood Bowl three thing yeah. is even early worse because they say it's full release, and it's like this is motherfucking early access two years away from being worth it. Yeah. <sighs> uh, new Resident Evil four trailer confirms return of the mercenaries mode, um, and then of course there was all sorts of th- wait, wait, what? Um, Resident Evil 4. Oh, uh, yeah, Resident Evil 4 trailer confirms the return of the Mercenaries mode. Cool. And then, of course, there's the VR uh, stuff that the PlayStation yeah. wanted to show off. And, yeah. And, and Resident Evil 4 VR was something they wanted to make sure. <laughs> when when uh, Resident Evil 7 came out, there was the VR yes. that we tried. It was amazing. 
Um, and we did that with Perluna, and we had the fucking headset, and we were all freaking out with the bugs and shit. Yeah. And it was just done so well in VR. Horror in VR works. Then we were disappointed when Resident Evil 8 came out, and there was, like, no mention of any of the VR, and we're like, what the hell? It felt like a little cheap, like... You get less value this time around, and it was because they were, you know, PSVR two, and so now there's the update is out for 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 uh, Resident Evil Village on VR. I haven't tried it yet out yet with my VR two, but I will uh, once we get <laughs> a little caught up more. Um, and but it looks like when Resident Evil four, uh, wait a minute. If you start a development on it now, and Resident Evil 4 is coming out pretty soon here, I wonder if they're going to have time to get it out, you know, on release at the same time it launches. Because that's what I'm hoping, you know, would, would be done. Because we already got it on Meta Quest 2 has a PS, uh, has a Resident Evil 4 things, but I think that's a... The that older, is a that is a re yeah. that is the remaster mm -hmm. VR. This one would be a VR of the up re redo. <laughs> What do you call it? It's a remaster as well. Or remake. Re -re yeah, it's a remake. So you got remake and you got remaster. So this was a remake. Resident Evil 4 remake VR. Uh, Capcom is like two years behind on all their shit. I mean, yeah, Capcom they... does not provide a release window. Mm -hmm. Darn it. Yeah, so the, uh, what game came, like Resident Evil 3 remake and all of like the multiplayer stuff was like delayed and pushed off and mm -hmm. then the next one was delayed and pushed off. So Yeah, it's even, even this article, it says uh, the, with Resident Evil 4 a month away from launch, it seems unlikely that PSVR 2 owners will be gunning down uh, people in their headsets on day one. Yeah. Bummer. Come on, Capcom. What the fuck? They, they don't need to. The consumers are just, they will slobber over whatever knob yeah. Capcom presents them, and they, they just don't demand that. They're like, well, I eventually get it two years later. It's like, well, I don't want it two years later when I'm in the mood to play the game and all of its Look, other stuff. I, <laughs> I'm looking at the comments on this one, Joe, uh, on this article. Okay. And this guy goes, uh, oh, I just got my PSVR 2 unit today. Uh there's this NFL game on there called NFL Pro Era that has a free demo. I might check it out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that one. So this well. poor sap has no idea what he's about. To do. Was it not good? And he he was responding to another one who was like, uh, "I plan on picking up a PSVR two. Uh, it'll be my first experience with today's VR, so I can't wait for Resident Evil four to be added." Why hasn't EA made a VR football game from the perspective of the quarterback helmet is beyond me. I'd play something like that all day, every day. And that's why this guy replied, well, there are, I just got my unit today, and I saw on the, the there's this thing called NFL Pro Era. It's garbage. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that guy's going to hate the NFL. Uh, <laughs> Sony showed off a bunch more PS uh, VR 2 games coming out sometime in 2023. The first is Foglands. It's a haunted first-person shooter showing off combat against skeleton spiders and stuff. Uh, there's a VR survival game called Green Hell, mm. uh, a fast-paced FPS with telekinesis stuff called Synapse. Um, and so they're adding more stuff eventually coming this year. The, P the VR headset came out a little before a lot of the games are ready, which, is, again, is, seems to be standard in the video yeah. game industry. This is the weakest launch lineup for uh, a, con you know, a, a console that costs this much, mm -hmm. a unit that costs this much. PSVR 2... Uh, is Sony better hope they're going to continue to support it as it goes through, um, you know, uh, many year, uh, you know, over the years, or they might just drop support. I don't know if you know this, but uh, the VR headset um, industry is fucking imploding and collapsing. They're losing ten thousand jobs uh, are cut, and people are fired. People at Microsoft gone, their whole division of XR gone. Uh, uh, Tencent. Believe it or not, was doing a VR headset and getting into XR completely canceled, gone. So the industry is hurting right now, and I think uh, technically, I think we're going through a VR bubble uh, pop. Uh, that's mainly due to Meta, because Meta put all this money into it, all this development, and of course, when you have the big boy doing it, then you have all these little ones, you know, kind of coming up, and then that is popping, and so all these other ones are popping first, and you know that big guy's coming down. So, uh, but ultimately, so it's actually really bad news for the VR industry. Mm -hmm. But you could argue, if you're a VR enthusiast, you could argue that this is a good thing. Uh, it's hard to do that because a lot of talent is being yeah. e expelled from it, but. It was bloated. It was overhyped. It was, you know, a lot of, you know, a little going a little too far. And here they can make it sleeker. They can, you know, focus on the experiences that work. 
Um, and one area that seems unaffected is in Japan. Japan VR development is going crazy. So, and the Japanese have proven multiple times that they can take something niche and work on it and expand it so much that boom, then it comes mainstream again. So yeah. there's a little bit of a hope for if you are a VR enthusiast that even though this year is probably the worst year for VR gaming when you realize the bubble is bursting and how, mu how many jobs are being lost and all the money being lost, billions of dollars, there is a small hope for the future. Mm -hmm. I mean, the games have been bad. Like, some of the games you were playing on PSVR, they wanted, like, a ton of money for, like, that weird, <coughs> wacky cartoon alien game. It's like, no, I, w I wouldn't play this game if it were free. Yeah. Like, honestly, it was it was a free game, yeah. and I would not give you money for Man, it. Man, Joe, like, Call of the Mountain, the, the system killer for the PSVR 2, it is, it's awful. I mean, it's not awful. It is disappointing. Yeah. And that's why I say it's awful, because it was awfully disappointing. I yeah. spent $600. I bought it twice, my <laughs> dumbass. Uh, and, and it is not what we thought it was. It is literally The Climb, uh, which was developed, I don't know, like five years ago, like one of the first VR games. And they just reskinned it with uh, Horizon. Yeah, then in the trailer, they make it look like all oh, this like combat here and there. A lot this. more climbing no, than fighting. It's, <laughs> it's it's literally ninety percent boring ass, frustrating climbing, mind you, mm -hmm. not the good kind, but the frustrating kind, and then ten percent combat. I hope to eventually do a review on it, but that's, you know, we got to focus on Dead Space and Hogwarts and, and those other games uh, at, before we get there. I mean, Alex, Half of Alex and Squadrons were like the ones that are like, this is what VR is for. Squadrons, this, 10 out of 10, and if, half and if, like yeah. nine. And if you get like if more of those experiences, we don't have the implosion. The problem is too many people will, you know, they, they keep making these $40 VR games that I wouldn't play on my then phone. nobody wants to play, yeah. yeah. All right, anything else that you guys wanted to cover on this one? That is it, that oh. little bit of VR <laughs> news that unfortunately, um, you know, it's weird because the industry sort of is collapsing on the same year that, that PlayStation's putting their headset out. So if you listen to some people, it's like, all right, well, let's get into yeah. it. And then you listen to other people, it's like, oh, the fucking, uh, you know, sky is falling and the, and the industry is imploding. Um, but if you are into VR, you, you got a new exciting headset to play. And it doesn't mean that Sony, you know, Sony can turn it around. They could continue to support their titles. They could continue to bring out, video, uh, you know, be good video games and, you know, help the industry. So, yeah. Perfect. Okay. All right, All right everybody. Check out Manscaped. Click those links down below. 20% off and free shipping. They've got the beard kit now. They've got the, uh, the lawnmower kit. So no matter where on your body needs trimmed. They got you covered. Yep. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you guys on the next Angry Joe Show. Bye, guys.